at a hotel in Philly. I first woke up around 2.30 in the morning. And I briefly went to the bathroom. And also did some things on my phone before going to bed around... Three fifteen in the morning. After going back to bed at that time, I woke up around seven to seven thirty in the morning. Me and my parents all shared one room with two beds. Though initially, we were put in a room with one bed and four pillows. After Dad spoke with, spoke at the lobby again, we were corrected to two beds with two pillows. <laughs> the complimentary breakfast was better than Dad expected. It came with scrambled eggs. Sausage patties, orange juice, cereal, prepackaged muffins. Uh, there were a whole lot of things to enjoy. Hey, it was nice seeing my sister in Philly. Uh, after our complimentary breakfast, in which I also poured in 2% milk into the cereal, We uh, went into the heart of city to pick up Brianna, excuse me, not much of a waste in terms of timing for experience points. We first went to the bookstore. Of the University of Pennsylvania. And that was kind of where we stopped to pick up souvenirs.
I picked, I pointed Dad out to the coffee mugs. I pointed Mom out to the Christmas ornaments. They had the bookstore. I personally picked out a notebook and some pens at the bookstore. Those will be intended as stocking stuffers. For Christmas, so I hope I forget about doing that by that time. We then made a stop at Starbucks, during which I got a salad with chicken raised, chicken that was raised without antibiotics, quinoa, and corn, and I got a large plain coffee. There's a Starbucks that was on the second floor. After that, we walk to the University of Pennsylvania itself, which had all of these beautiful park areas with imported trees and other plant life. Beautiful statues and sculptures, some nice benches, and these. Centuries old buildings that kind of look like castles in a way due to the obvious masonry to them. Hey, it was pretty beautiful. I should be able to build should be able to build the hero's forge now there it is
After walking around the, uh, there were some photo op opportunities. In regards to being both within the heart of the city of Philly. <laughs> Though the first time Dad tried to navigate around the heart of the city, it ended up being quite confusing and kind of a headache. It took something like half an hour to travel five miles because... And there was a marathon going at the time, somewhere between 11 and noon that day. The second time navigating the city in order to leave it after we had dropped Bree back off at her apartment after visiting the outside of her place of work. It went by much more smoothly. Had the drive back home at mom's place. It was relaxing. At the beginning, by that point, I felt uh, kind of tired, despite drinking the whole large plain coffee from about the middle of the Starbucks stop. During which Dad pointed out some spicy snacks. They had it some kind of small little supermarket section within the Starbucks. Or maybe within the area of that Starbucks. Didn't want to get anything from that snack area. They had spicy ramen, but nothing real spicy, in my opinion. And I already had, I already have a copy of the One Chip Challenge by Pak Wai. Their fiery chili limon flavor is delicious. It's delicious, but isn't really very spicy to me.
their honey ghost pepper flavor of bad chips are spicy enough, but the flavor is quite inferior compared to the fiery chili limon. Uh, maybe at some point I could combine the two flavors. Or when I get another opportunity like that. Well, I had no idea I would get a quest from the dwarves. Our old friends. <sighs> During the drive back home, I finished that. I gradually drank the Starbucks coffee over the course of about somewhere between 30 to 60 minutes. Uh, the Mickey Way is quite enjoyable, but they kind of put too many on they tend to put too many onions and then they s spill out of the buns and eating raw onions isn't exactly pleasant. Creates a kind of burning sensation in your tongue if you eat them raw. And we got to make ribs during a trip A stop at McDonald's in which me and dad went inside so dad could get two crispy chicken sandwiches and I <coughs> dad got two crispy chicken sandwiches And some fries, which we ended up sharing, because I neglected to get a large fry of my own. After getting two McRibs, Dad wasn't sure if they would have McRibs, since it had been a while since they brought them back. And we didn't know, really know when the promotion would end, so I initially had a coupon for buy one, buy one Big Mac, get the second one, get a second one for free, something like that coupon, though when it turned out they did still have McRibs, I was given a coupon for a free large hot roast coffee or iced coffee with any purchase. Which in this case were the two make ribs. I reheated this one for a total of 45 seconds, a plus 30 seconds, and then again, but stopped at 15.
The drive back home was enjoyable. Made an attempt to fall asleep during the car ride back home. Slept for about half an hour or so. Felt rejuvenated, but didn't really feel like working on a styrofoam drawing. <clears throat> yeah, since by then it had started getting dark. We started the drive back at around 3 p.m. Got back around 8.30 p.m. I enjoyed <clears throat> relaxing during the nighttime sky, looking at all the artificial lights, lighting the roadways and highways, seat warmer. That jacket I had been wearing. At all times, I had opted not to wear it for the drive back home since by the time I got in the car to start that. I had felt a bit hot due to all the exertion of walking around. Right before we started to drive back home, I went into breathe apartment unit in order to go to the brat bathroom. I briefly encountered Mateo, showed him some of my newer styrofoam drawings. I did the same with <clears throat> uh, my family <clears throat> and our server the other day and one of them anyway and all in all it was a pretty enjoyable trip Oh yeah, and that stop at McDonald's, it was right before it was right when we were on the cusp of getting home. And then when we did, I helped bring all the stuff Bring all of my stuff into the house. My <clears throat> the pieces of styrofoam I brought over to work on, along with sharpie markers. Oh, they were in plastic bags. <clears throat> Some partially finished beverages. I brought him into the house. Mm. 
then went to the bathroom again. Somewhere between 5 and 6 p.m. there was a point in which I was afraid I would end up having to go to the bathroom again during the drive home. Uh, but that ended up not being the case. It's a good thing for that. Uh, since then we would have had to made some had to have made some kind of emergency stop and all in all for most of the drive home it was. Pretty much road surrounded by trees and grass and whatnot. At some point, we encountered buildings that were supposedly full of cows and whatnot. I didn't really notice that until Mom pointed that out. <sighs> At some points we listened to the radio. And all the tracks of the various CDs Dad owned, including the Chlorine album by 21 Pilots. The one that has neon gravestones and Cut my lip on it. As well as a mix of music from Guardians of the Galaxy. The collection that contains the Pina Colada or Escape Song. All in all, it was pretty enjoyable music. I sat in the front passenger seat with Dad in the driver's seat and Mom right behind me. Uh, she kept that star from drying. I finished the other day safe throughout the entire trip. Only really lost one flake or two on the back, uh, which I'll just have to do a bit of restoration work with using a sharp black, e a sharp, a black sharpie marker. On the back since. Oh, that's the color of that particular star foam drawing person's hair.